ट्रांसक्रिप्शन नंबर बैक ऑफ 18 स्पीड 100 वर्ड पर मिनट सर कैलाश चंद्र वॉल्यूम वन स्टार्ट नाउ दैट दिस बिल इज बिफोर अस वी हैव टू स्पीक ऑन दिस सब्जेक्ट रादर ऑन द जनरल थिंग्स येट आई वुड लाइक टू मेक सर्टेन जनरल ऑब्जर्वेशन इन दिस कनेक्शन बिकॉज द बेसिस ऑफ द बिल इज रिपोर्ट ऑफ द थर्ड फाइनेंस कमीशन दिस इज ए लॉन्ग स्टैंडिंग इशू फेसिंग द पब्लिक फाइनेंस ऑफ द कंट्री दोज हु हैव स्टडीड इकोनॉमिक विल नो वेल हाउ दिस मैटर हैड कम अप इवन ड्यूरिंग द ब्रिटिश टाइम when we did not have either independence or any kind of autonomy in the states in that set up even at that time the state governments functioning under the british felt that something should be done with regard to adjustment of finances especially in regard to the relations between the center and the states there had been a long standing controversy as to how the taxes especially the income tax should be divided between the center and the states i do not deny the existence of the controversy and this controversy is not easy to resolve uh, i entirely agree but i should have thought that the third finance commission should have tried to face the problems between it not more or less in a routine manner but in the context of the new things not only as they are today but as they are going to shape in the coming future we have got what is called a quasi federal constitution i do not say federal constitution although the spirit is there but a quasi federal constitution because most of the powers many of the powers that should remain with this states are now in the hands of the central government therefore in that way it is more unitary in character than federal at the same time structurally speaking we have got the state assemblies legislatures state bodies and so on they function more or less in the same way but if you go a little deeper into the affairs it would immediately lead you to think that the states do not have any substantial real power especially in the matter of finance perhaps at the time when the constitution was framed this aspect did not figure very much in the minds of the maker of the constitution we had just become free and the concept of welding india into a solid nation was uh, uppermost in the minds of those people who framed the constitution and all others as well in that background it was quite understandable that it should be the dominant uh, thought as to how to put the different segments of our country into a whole namely the indian union stock